What is going on guys? This is 42 Sports here and today I am talking about the North Carolina Tar Heels versus the Cal Golden Bears or California Golden Bears as you, if you want to put it that way in that form of, of display. But as you all know that UNC, I believe this will be the first time they'll play against Cal. I, I, I've never... Uh, seen or uh, I've tried to search, but I don't know if UNC has ever played Cal Bears since you know the California Bears are in the Pac-12 conference and they are on the other side on the uh, the country. Um, as you all know, also this will worry me a little bit. As you all know, that California, the state of California, uh, has made a travel ban to certain states. LOL because of you know how tr uh, Donald Trump speaking of politics um, Has made a travel ban to certain countries of uh, who are uh, aff affiliated with the ISIS or the uh, the terrorist groups as you like to say um, but I, I, I hopefully this won't affect recruiting or uh, especially games uh, as well as high, high school football top high school football teams who travel to different states to, to play the other top high school football teams so that will be a big issue as well it won't go well for California because as we all know about North Carolina with the H, uh, HB2 bill that really didn't affect um, anything but it's just people went crazy and you know how that goes at the end of the, end of the day all right, so I don't know. There's new guys for California, uh, as y'all know that Davis Webb will be uh, is uh, gone to the NFL. Also, their starting running back is also gone. Uh, Kalafi uh, Muhammad, he's gone to the NFL with the Jets. Um, so the starting quarterback and the running back for Cal uh, is for quarterback is Chase um, Forrest, who's a redshirt red junior. He has zero stats, so I don't know anything about Chase Forrest. Uh, for running back-wise, Trey Watson for California, he had stats. He was pretty good, so he's going to be a really good asset for the Cal Bears. He went 143 carries with 709 yards, 5.0 average, and four touchdowns. He led in touchdowns, um, but Dave, Davis Webb, uh, the quarterback for last year, had over 4,000 yards, so he was similar to a Mitch Trubisky, a pocket passer type quarterback. But for us UNC fans, I am a UNC fan, just to let you guys know. Uh, for UNC, UNC has got to learn their offense because we all know the Pac-12, a.k.a. Oregon, with the Chip Kelly type of up-tempo, high-passing, uh, no-huddle offenses. Because we, I saw Cal last year, even though they went 4-8 last year, they loved to throw the ball. I mean, if you can speak for yourself, Davis Webb had went over 382 completions with 600 attempts. 600 attempts with 4,295 yards, 61.6 yards completions, 6.9 yards for average, 37 touchdowns, and only 12 interceptions. That is pretty crazy, if you ask me. 37 touchdowns. It's crazy how they went 4-8, but... <laughs> The stats will get you, um, but it's crazy. Uh, I know for UNC, uh, I know that Brandon Harris, who is the LSU transfer quarterback, he will be probably most likely the starting quarterback over Nathan Elliott, Logan Bird, and Chaz Surratt. Um, also, UNC also got a five four-star quarterback from Arizona. So, um, but we all know that Austin Prohl, who is returning senior, he had 43 receptions. Uh, 597 yards, 13.9 yards per average, uh, and eight touchdowns. Michael Carter for UNC, who's upcoming freshman, he might be the starting running back. But as of now, Jordan Brown, who only started minimal and or played less minutes this year because of Elijah Hood and T.J. Logan. Um, so, um, Jordan Brown for rushing, he had 20 carries, 45 yards, and he only had one touchdown. So, um, it's going to be different. I don't know uh, how to compare this because I, ha I have never seen 
UNC play against California Bears, uh, but I have seen UNC play against Stanford, who is like a, a one back. But Cal, I've watched Cal uh, sometimes when they're on ESPN against Stanford, and they like to throw the ball. They are a high up tempo offense, no huddle. They, yeah, like I said before, they love to throw the ball. That's all they most likely like to do. Uh, but my prediction for the score is going to probably be uh, maybe 45 to 38. That's going to be my range. Uh, hopefully, UNC will come out with a win. I don't want to predict this uh, game uh, because it's usually if I predict my team, they might lose. So it's going to be in that range. I don't know who's going to win, but hopefully UNC will win this game. Uh, I, I don't know. It's going to be a little weird because UNC, UNC's whole receiving core basically left in the NFL because mostly all of the uh, receiving core last year were seniors. Buck Howard, Mac Hollins, Ryan Switzer. Um, I mean, it just goes on and on. Uh, but we do have James Cun or UNC does have James Cunningham. They have, uh, I believe, Carl Tucker will be back. Uh, James Cunningham, Brandon Fritz is back. Chris Francis, Anthony Ratliff Williams, he'll be back as well. So there's going to be lots of new faces for both teams, uh, especially for the quarterback position for both teams, uh, honestly, for Chase Forrest, for Cal, and Brandon Harris. Uh, I don't know how well Brandon Harris will do this year, uh, and especially in the SEC because he was in the SEC. So that's a big plus for Larry Fedora because we have we have a young, uh, or UNC has a young um, quarterback core. Uh, so basically, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want more on Cal Bears football or UNC My Heels, which will be coming in soon. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. 42 Sports here. Peace.